you never have to worry about not being prepared for a Tantra session. Your body will intuitively know how and when to react to the energy that it receives. Now, a long time ago, uh, when I was visiting San Diego, California, I was very fortunate to work with uh, a man who was in his middle ages and he was an adept with energy and he practiced yoga on a daily basis. He actually invested in himself and took alternative classes in healing and practiced a form of yoga on a daily basis. So when he met me for a Tantra session, uh, we had a very interesting connection. He was already in tune with energy. He was very receptive. And in the background, during our time together, I was playing this beautiful, like, ancient language kind of music in the background of our session. And so at the very end of our time together, when it came time for me to activate his kundalini energy. I noticed that all of a sudden uh, his eyes rolled back to the back of his head. So literally all I could see were the whites of his eyes. And he started talking in a very ancient tongue, which I'm assuming was Aramaic. It was very beautiful and guttural sounding. And he just spoke eloquently, but I couldn't understand any of it because I don't know ancient language. So, um, after his body stopped shaking and when he stopped speaking in tongue, I asked him if he could recall anything that happened during our time together at the very end of the session. And he told me no. And I said, do you remember speaking in a different language? And again, he had no recollection of saying anything. And I felt so bad because I wish I had recorded it. So I explained to him that he was speaking in a very beautiful, you know, like ancient language that I could barely understand. And I asked him exactly what happened. And he said, that he had a vision in his mind's eye of two goddesses. One goddess was all red. She was dancing in circles and her hair was red. Her body was red. Her skin was red. And I guess she was wearing a red dress. I'm not sure. So she just spun in circles. And then after spinning in circles, she became the white goddess. And... I don't know what happened. And he said that she was just spinning and spinning and spinning. And everything about her was completely white. White dress, white hair, everything was white. So, I mean, that was his vision. I'm not going to question it. And I don't understand. Maybe it had some meaning to him. And it could have been the sleeping serpent, which is our kundalini energy which is trapped down at the very bottom of our spinal column, right where the Cossack bone is. So I just want to let everyone know that depending upon the level of energy that you're coming from and depending upon how receptive you are and whether or not you use yoga or other forms of healing as your private practice, your session with a Tantra goddess or any Tantra practitioner is going to vary depending upon where you are energetically. And usually you are attracted to your energetic match. So there's no need to worry about, you know, receiving too much energy or, you know, feeling sick after your Kundalini session has activated you. I believe that our body is extremely intuitive and knows exactly how much is too much to receive. And your chakras will know exactly 
where to send your energy. So when your Kundalini energy is activated, it might travel to a place of trauma in your body and allow you to emotionally and physically release that kind of trauma that you might be carrying. So I'm going to end this video here and allow you to think about how safe you are when you're engaging in any kind of energy work with a healer because your body will protect you no matter what you will not experiencing you will not experiencing anything that you aren't already prepared for okay that's the end of this video